everyone it's nicole welcome back to my channel relax cut glue if you're new here welcome i am so happy to have you all here with me today it's monday it's monday it's a new week it's a new day and it's a new week of crafty creations so over the weekend i posted on my community tab about this little scrapbook um it was on sale for $5.99. It is not on sale, I don't think, at this point, because it only had two hours left yesterday, but it goes on sale all the time for $5.99. So uh, just wait, and it'll go on sale again. It's originally only $7.99, so if you really want it, it's still pretty inexpensive, in my opinion. Um, but it's ring-bound. It's 8 by 8 inches. It comes already with the metal uh, on the corners, and it has a bow ribbon closure. And then you open it up and I believe there was like 60 pages in here. And this is like a, mm, I would say paperweight. Hmm. I would say it's a very inexpensive cardstock weight. Maybe not quite 60 pound, maybe 40 pounds, maybe or something. I'm not sure, but I love it. It's not too thick. It still has some flexibility, which I like because once we start gluing on them, these get very uh, firm and that kind of thing. So, oops, well, I'm flinging things. So anyways, I just want to play in this. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, I just want to play and I have this really thick interior design magazine that I got for free from a friend of mine. This is April of 2020. So I thought, I don't know, I'll grab some images out of here. There's always a lot of texture in these types of magazines, but I, any kind of magazine that has like home decor and stuff like that, you can find texture. So in a lot of my videos, especially in the past, you'll see where if I see like a dress in a magazine that I like the pattern, I'll cut out a square of the dress. So I just have the pattern. So anyways, I digress. Let's just start looking in here and see what inspires me uh, to use in this. I mean, there's so many good things in here. So Let's just see what I end up pulling out here. Now, I really like him. If I cut out a little bit of that. So, let's take that out. Ooh, this paper's so nice. It's kind of like a fashion magazine, or the paper's kind of thicker. <gasps> Love this texture. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm going to take this side. And I don't have to... Um, I don't have to use the whole thing. I can cut this up into like four pieces so I can use it in lots of different backgrounds. This side's pretty cool too. Obviously, I like this side better. I'm just going to keep this in here for now. I'm not going to take out everything I see. I just want to kind of grab. Okay. Now, I'm looking at this and like this would look good with this, the coloring. So, I was that was kind of striking my fancy there for a second. So, do I want to cut out maybe we'll see we'll come back to that now here's some more texture you can cut out a square yes I do like that I like this too let's keep going let's just keep looking I could cut out this couch and put it in there somewhere this is a great background piece Ooh, look at all the little bubbles that's kind of cool very yeah uh, artsy. Again, I could cut out a table or a chair. Ooh, I love this for background texture and it's one of my favorite colors. So let's take that. We'll cut that up. This is great for texture too. I mean, I could really take everything out of this book. I could use everything in here. I just kind of wanted to look through. Ooh, maybe I want to cut this out. I might cut that out cut out the circle there. Ooh, this would be good too. Just cut this piece out right here. Same with this. You could just cut out a square or you could use the whole thing, whatever. Hmm. I don't really want to use either of them. Oh, these are cute. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Great background pieces there too. Okay, let's just find, ooh, that'd be a good background. Ooh, I could cut out one of them. Ooh, I like this. Life outside is a life well lived. That's cool. 
Um, you could definitely cut out that. I could fill up this whole, like one whole page with this, or I could cut this out and cut this out and have like separate things. Let's pick that out and I'll decide what I want to do with that. All right, let's grab a few more things. Oh, I love her. And look at this wrapping, or wrapping paper, wallpaper, very pretty. Okay, I definitely need her in my life. So let's take her out. Ooh, I love this. I would fussy cut this out. I don't know if I will do that right this second. Ooh, this is cool too with the, the other black and white images. Ooh, I might cut out this rhino. That's cool, she's pretty. Okay, let's grab just a couple more little things here. Ooh, you could cut this out too. Hmm, make it yours. Ooh, this is cool. Whoa, what is this? Polyurethane foam and resin made these. That's freaking cool. Do I want that? I mean, I do, I want it eventually. I just don't know if I want to do it today is what I was kind of getting out there. Okay, let's keep going. Aw, little, little French. Oh, he's watching his little laptop there. Okay, Ooh, I like the shoe. Ooh, and a mixtape, ooh. Okay, just kind of real quickly looking through here. Look at that. Ooh, that's a cool towel rack. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Love these. Love them a lot. Ooh, these sinks are funky. I like it. Ooh, look at these sinks. Design magazines have really good stuff in them. And they often don't have a lot of stuff written all over them. So it's a lot easier to use images in it. I keep wanting to like move on, but I can't stop looking at what, what's coming next. I just, it's so fun. Ooh, okay. So you could cut out these squares. This is pretty too. Ooh, there's a good texture piece. Same with this. That would look really cool too. Ooh, stellar. Like that. Um, okay. Couple more, couple more. Definitely cutting out some of these chairs. Ooh, I like the this, that's cool. Definitely would cut this out. Ooh, what if, what are the papers I have? Okay, definitely wanna use this with maybe this, this, and this. And then, so that's kind of like my more neutral colors. And then this, I could do some like, ooh, I have an idea. Okay, okay. Let's start with just those four things. I'm gonna take this, those few things. And then if I need something else, I'll come back in and grab a few more pieces. Ooh, this was fun. Oh my gosh, I can already tell. I'm gonna, this, this might be, I might need a new intervention. <laughs> Okay, so let's, um, oh, why do I, I don't need that. I need, um, I need my paper trimmers and my scissors. Okay, so first off, I want to, I'm gonna have to sacrifice that 20 there, but that's fine. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that, okay. I want to cut this first. Oops, didn't cut enough. Again, I need a new blade on here too. I just keep forgetting. Every time I come in here, I'm like, oh yeah, I need to put my new blade on here. And I don't do it, so there's that. Okay. Ooh, art at work, I like that. This is kind of a cool photo too. This would be neat as well, because I could use these. Okay, I will fussy cut those parts out. And then this one, I'm thinking, definitely want to clean that up. And then I think I want this separated. I'm gonna separate this bit. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, where was my book? I need my book. Remember that one colored piece that was drippy and funky? Where did that go? This. Do I wanna add this maybe? I might, so let's take it out. Okay. <sighs> All right, so first things first, I wanted to know if I am going to grab my cutting mat. and my exacto blade okay so my thought process is i want to have this coming like this so i need to cut from here wait where was that again oh, i'll just start here it's fine it can be a little bit more so i'm going to slice this first before i glue it into my book and it's always best to have a sharp blade because a dull blade, you could actually hurt yourself more. Okay. Oh, there's a squirrel like two feet in front of me right now, right outside my window. I'm not even joking. Hello, little squirrel. Do not eat my gladiola bulbs. If that's what you're doing. It's sneaking around my gladiola bulbs. All right. Oh, I didn't do that very good. That's okay. And then like this. And then down like that. I think that's far enough. Okay. So now I should be able to poke this through. There we go. Real nice. And then have it like this. Oh my gosh. That is wicked cool. Okay. Love it. Okay. I kind of want to put this on the line just so I can make sure that my... Yeah, that's not straight. Okay. And I got glue all over this. There we go. Okay. So we have that. Now I just need to glue him on top of there. Perfect. Ooh, this looks so cool. Okay. Let's take our book here and, oops, I need to put my, my glue stick. We'll just skip that for first page for now. Okay, how much of this? I think maybe I'll go, okay. So what I'm going to do is cut off really quickly here the top of this and then we will go like this and put it at the top oh no I smeared I'm just messing this thing up today it is Monday I am telling you I'm struggling <laughs> so struggling okay let's glue this page on here now so I'm just gonna scooch this right over to the edge of my spiral here. Okay, let's get my tool. I'm gonna actually turn this over and press this way because that way I won't move my paper around or squish it or whatever, so.
really pressing on those corners and the edges because we do not want those to lift up in the future. And then let's trim this up. Let me put a lid on my glue stick real quick. Okay, let's trim this. Actually, let's start this way. Here we go. I love this size, the eight by eight, real nice. Eh. Okay, so we have this so far. That looks pretty cool. And then I could put this like that, but I do want to cut this down just a little bit now that I A little bit more here. Okay. Could do something like that. All right. And then what else did I have? Oh yeah, I had the the drips. I was kind of seeing if I wanted to add the drips down. Could have the drips going down this. Hmm, see you. Let's glue that down. Life is better. Life outside is a life well lived. I like that. Okay, so my little droops won't work, but what else could I put on here? I also had this umbrella, which I was kind of thinking I could put like in the corner, like it's the sun, but now I don't like that. Okay, so let's do our next page. That looks really good. I really like that. And it was simple, really simple. That looks so cool. I do, I do want something here, but I don't know what that is yet. So we'll just wait. And maybe I don't, maybe I just leave it like this. We'll see. Okay, next. We'll flip it over. Actually, we'll just do it this side. Okay, so I have this, the circle. I have this turquoise. Ooh, what if I took out... Hold up. I was thinking if I could have the little bubbles like going down the side here or something, but okay, I don't want to mess with it. We'll leave it. All righty. So I want this circle, I like the bubbles, I want the rhino, and I do like this. The circle might not show much, but we'll see. Okay, so let's start with, um, I need to cut the rhino, I like this too. Okay, I'm gonna go cut these and then I'll be right back and I'll show you what I have before we get started. Okay, so here's what I have so far with all of my pieces. Um, I'm also thinking I could do something like this on this side. Have my little rhino behind that. And then have this like this. I actually kind of like that better. Okay, let's start by gluing this down and then it'll be because this is kind of hanging over, so it'll help with our dimensions a little bit better if I glue that down first. So let's do that. I'll just give this a little glue. I already don't have this where I need it to be. So let's drag this over, making sure it's still covering all my edges, and it is. Okay. Is it covering up here? Yes. Where's my... My tool. Okay. I'm gonna turn it 
turn this around here. Scrape it down. Okay, so now I have my texture piece on here. And then I do want to add this here as well. Let's see. If I put it about right here. Okay, and then I was thinking my rhino would look really cool just right behind it. And then this is what was left of my number two. So I thought I would, I cut that out because that's a cool little piece and I could do something like that. I don't know, that looks cool to me. Okay, let's start gluing this down. Um, so first things first, I want to glue this, actually here, I'm gonna glue the edge of my Rhino so it sticks to where I want it to be. Make sure that this is straight when I'm adding my little rhino. Oops. Right there, oops. Okay, let's glue this whole thing. Okay, and we will put this right along the edge here. More like that. Okay. Lift up right now. Okay, there we go. All right, let's push this down now. Making sure we get it all nice and crispy. Okay, and then we will cut the edges. Let's move that aside. Okay, so now we have this. So what else should we add? I had these two things, so I thought I'd put, I could do something to this effect. I kind of like it, I'm going for it. So let's glue this first. Let's put this right here. Maybe that like that. Should I move this up just a little bit? So this can go down. Okay, let's try that. I'm just getting glue on everything today. Like, tell me it's a Monday without telling me it's a Monday. <laughs> Goodness. I'm all shaky and like getting a mess everywhere. I don't know what's going on. Get it together. Okay. That looks pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, tool. I feel like very discombobulated right now. <laughs> all right. Okay. That looks pretty freaking cool if you ask me. I like it. I like it a lot. That looks good. That looks really good. How fun is that, right? Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Okay. What else? I still want to cut this out. I thought about using it on this one, but I thought that would be like too much. Okay, I still have this, which I think would look really cool as well with some of the color aspects. So I might be able to salvage, use some more of this. 420 um, and then maybe like some of this color coming down for this one and then with her I want to cut like her out I think like part of her I don't know what I want to do with her yet but yeah this one would look good okay so let's go back I want to find another like color piece I love how these are so totally different, but like so exciting and fun at the same time. Okay, so let's put that away. Now I wanna look for, let's go back to my book. Let's find some fun color pieces that I might be able to use or some black and whites. This might be kind of cool if I cut a rectangle out of this. Ooh, I love the blue. That's kind of cool too. 
I like these. I could cut out all three of these. I like that. Okay. What else? Ooh, these are cool. Those are really cool. Um, ooh, I love that. I could put something else right here, though, in her hand. So that would be cool, too. Okay, let's keep going. I'm getting ideas. I'm putting them in the... They're in the vault back here. I'm there. I still remember that I have them. I'm just trying to look for something that will spark my... Uh, let's see. I have this. And then I want to cut out these. Put right here. I have that. Okay. 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 I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Ew, that's weird. Ooh. That's cool. So are these. I could cut these out too. Okay. Those are a possibility. This is some great texture too. Love that. Um, let's see. Ooh. Ooh. That is cool. If I had this, I could put these up here. I like these two together. I want this. I think I would fussy cut. Let's see, is this eight? Like from here? No, it's not quite eight. Okay, so yeah, I would fussy cut this out. I think I'll cut this out. Okay, there goes my neighbor in his sports car. Goodness. Okay, what else do we have? Ooh, that's kind of cool down here. Let's keep going. Okay. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Ooh, I like how they have all the wood there. That's cool. Okay. So I'm just kind of looking to see if there's anything I want to add um, with the car. And Quiet just got colorful. If I cut this here, I could put the car in front of these words. Maybe. Okay, let's keep going. Oh. That's cool. These would be good shapes to cut out too. Okay. Ready to launch? We are, ooh, this one's cool. Ooh, this is cool too. All right, ooh, hello. Maybe I should cut this out and put the car on here. That might look kind of cool. I could use this and then cut her out in a rectangle and put her on top. That might look kind of cool too. Okay. I definitely need this. Ooh, look at the faucet. That's actually, ooh. What if I put this behind the faucet? Cause it's water. Okay, I like that. Ooh, that's cool too. Okay. Ooh, look at this paper in the back. <gasps> I love it. Okay. All right, so we've got a few things. One of the things I wanna do is I'm gonna cut this up into bits. I'm gonna work something together with these two things. This and this will probably go together because they're colorful. Definitely need to cut him out. Definitely wanna use this car, but I think I'm gonna go with something really easy 
for this part real quick here. Wait, what was on this? Oh yeah. Okay, so I want to cut her. I mean, I don't wanna cut her, but you know what I mean? Like that. And I do want some of the cat and the tree here. I'll save this, you never know. And then I might save this too, cause that actually looks pretty cool. Okay, and then I do wanna cut a little bit of that off. Okay, I wanna cut a little bit more. All right, that looks better to me. Okay, so I have her there and then I have this and I need to trim off my edge here. All right. So let's do a simple one. And I'm gonna go something like this. Yes, okay. You know, I think I might just glue onto here this time. Let's just do that. Okay, go around my edges. Get those. Where's Big Papa? Biggie Smalls here. Not only does this smear my scotch glue stick around, but it adds some of this so I'm not using all of my scotch permanent glue stick. All right. So now I wanna add, let's take this off. Now I wanna add to this. Okay, so now I think I'll put her like this. Maybe I'll put her towards the top. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll put her right about here. Oops, get back up there. All right. So we have that. Oh my gosh, what if I put like... <laughs> There's her legs. Um, okay, do I want to add something else like geometric? Like a little shape or something? Let's look back towards the front. Let's see. Okay, so I flipped through my magazine and I just cut out a few things. One, I have this and I thought I could, you know, put it like that, which is interesting. I don't even have to have the hardware down here. I could lower it a little bit and have it more like this, which I actually kind of like. Um, I cut out the laptop with the pillow. Not bad, not bad. And I cut out this black and white guy because I thought that might look kind of cool against everything else. Um, I don't have to have them up that high either. I could have them like this. Ooh, man, decisions, decisions. Which one do I like best? So I could have him like this. I could have that. That doesn't look bad. But ultimately, I kind of think I like this, but I could also put him. Whoa, look, I put his hand. Do I like that? Do I not like that? That is the question. I, I think he's too much. Plus, I like the building that's behind here, so... Maybe I just add that. You know what I don't like is this up here. Could I bring this like this way? Would that look weird? Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, well. I think I'll go with this. Why not? Let's go something crazy, which this isn't really crazy, but I don't know. It's interesting. It's something different. Know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Oh no, I left my glue lid off too long. Whoops, I get carried away. Okay, I'm gonna slip this under here. All right. 
let's put it like that. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And then of course, if anything comes up that I decide I wanna put on here, I totally can do that later. Um, my, my pagers are never really fully done. I give myself the, um, the okay to come back and add more later. Let me just, oh, I just feel like I have so much stuff everywhere. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> okay, let's cut this up real quick. Oh, I got, look at all these glue strings. It looks like I have a spider web. All right, here we go. Let's get all this sticky crap out of here. Okay, so there we have that. That's interesting. I don't know. It's something. I also have this little etc. that's um, kind of pink, so I thought maybe I could put that up here or like maybe right here. Ooh, that looks kind of nice, huh? Let's do that. I wasn't actually planning on putting it down, but I like the way that looks, so I'm just going to do it. Oops. Um, I wanted to add just a little bit, something of pink to kind of tie it in. This is kind of pinkish up here, this, this. Okay. So we have all that. This guy did look pretty cool. I mean, he could always stand right here, but meh. All right. I'm going to clean up and I'll be right back. All right, everyone. That was a lot of fun. I had such a great time going through um, an interior design magazine and finding different things that I could use in a different kind of way. And I really like the images that I came up with. So let's take a look at the three layouts that I did. Of course, I skipped the first page. Um, this one looks really cool. I really like it. Um, I think it's really fun and I could definitely add a few more things on here if I want or just leave it like this. Super happy about it. Then we had this fun one, which I really love. Um, very abstract and just different. I like abstract art a lot. It's my favorite um, type of art. So I really love this. This might be my favorite one. And then we did this one, which was really fun as well. So we have some architecture here, and then we have some of these rocks with whatever those are, and we have this girl, and you know, it's just, everything uh, just came together really well for me today, and I really like the way these turned out. I really love this one. This one just, just kiss. All right, everyone, that is gonna conclude today's video. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to drink your water. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, friends.